Hey all board game rants here we'll find everything solo tabletop gaming and more. This is my first official unboxing video. This is the second edition of Darkest Nights. <laughs> and if you're curious what's in there, well, we're gonna find out together right now. So shall we begin? Darkest Night. And this is the second edition. On the back here, I'll show you that. We have, is that going to focus? Come get it. There we go. And uh, I did a little research on this and checked out the first edition. And it this thing has, has massive amounts of more good stuff in it than the first edition did. And uh, so we'll see as we dig in and see what else we have in here to offer, which hopefully made it worth. I, I looked at this when it first came out and just didn't see enough there for me to pull the trigger. And I'm glad that I waited. So, oh, flip this guy over. A beast of a game. Heavy. Oh, making sure we're focusing here. Yes. Okay. Um, maybe I will. Well, let's pop this off first and let's get a sense more of. Eh. Okay. Yes. Yes. So. Hmm. Got ourselves a rule book. I've already gone through a uh, rule book for the second edition a couple times. Uh, through the first edition once just to, to get a sense of what the differences were. A compendium. Didn't see this. I haven't gone through this. And. Not. Ah, nice. Yeah, as you're reading through the rule book, it doesn't really explain uh, or have in the rule book. It looks like they separated it out. In the first edition, it was part of the rule book. In the second edition, this is um, this little reference sheet's all separated out, which is nice. And then we've got, of course, your standard little promo goodie. Okay. And um, okay, here we go. I imagine these are the blights. And we've got some some heroes, right? So what we got here? Yeah, these go in the standees. There are, I think, 29 heroes to the first edition's nine or 27 here. I don't remember. 20. Lots of heroes, lots more heroes than there were in the first edition. And then you've got that you can play. And then uh, here we've got some some of the blights that are going to pop up. A little item token that's looking like more items, more item tokens, more blights, etc. And oh yeah, okay. Got this board. Let's see if I can even bonk. It's a little wobbly. Sorry. So here we have um, uh, the board. Good looking board. And get this so we can get a better look. Darkness track along the bottom. And huh. Something on the back of this board. Oh, okay. That's why I felt like it was a little. Ugh, I don't know if I feel comfortable squeezing that together. It's, you know, boards usually aren't like, I think I saw something about, so it does. It has like a, a smaller version of the big board that you can play with. So that's kind of a cool idea. Yeah, because this is, this is interchangeable. It doesn't, <laughs> feels quite unnatural to bend it the other way, but you can. And... I don't, I don't want to go all the way. I'm afraid I'm going to tear something. Anyway, okay, but that's cool. Um, if you got a smaller, you know, footprint air area that you can play on, um, you don't have all the room for all this. You can go this cute little fella here. So that's kind of a nifty little, um, can't say I've seen that before. Holy shnikes. Do you see what I see? A crap ton of cards. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. So there's that. Oh, here's a, another one. Is it just me or whenever I get, I like, I like doing that. I don't know why. Just a little clappy. Look at, look at that. Holy. Huh. Hey. Oh, it's too much. 
Too much for one hand? No, it's not. Not for the seasoned gamer hand. So there's um. So quests here are. Uh, you see that? Here are. Well, I don't know if that's a quest actually, but quests I think are. Uh, they were an expansion to the first edition, and now they are. Uh, they come standard in the second edition. So that's kind of a, a cool thing. Um, Tinkerer, so we got some of the uh, power cards perhaps here that are gonna go with the, the heroes. Ah, more power cards and more. There's just a, there's a lot of cards here. Acolyte, some more and more and more of. So that's, these are, there's, um, there's a lot of cards in this game. Here we go, what do we got here? Oh man, big cards, event cards. I remember if there was events in the, um, event cards in the first edition. Map cards, I do know, like the map card, I don't remember seeing, the, in this one you can actually, when you set up the game, you can change the type of game you wanna play. Um, with the, the map cards, um, you can add different blights and, uh, and play like a different kind of theme with the second edition that you didn't have as an option in the first edition. And, um, hmm. No, you know what? I think I'm just gonna bust through this a little quicker and then maybe we'll get a close-up view on some of this stuff after I open it up. Okay, here's, uh, I imagine, a lot of the hero starter sheets. And then we've got uh, on the back side some player age stuff. Standees for the character hero guys. The big bad guy, the necromancer himself. Ta-da! Okay. That's enough growling out of you, sir. Off to the side. Let's see. Keep there. A um, bunch of baggies. A lot of games come standard with lots of baggies now. It's kind of nice. Here's the dice you roll for the various tests and battles and stuff like that. Is there anything under this? Oh my gosh, that's heavy. No, there is not. There's beautiful box. There's I lied, there's something in here. Ah, it's called New Game Smell. Boom, 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 back to it, here we are. So, I took the liberty of unwrapping all of these card uh, stacks because when you don't have fingernails, it is agonizingly slow and not fun to watch, it's not fun to do. So, one thing I wanted to point out, um, I was like, oh, I don't think those event cards in the first edition. There were. There just weren't nearly as many. And uh, in this one, you're also going to find mystery cards, which were part of an expansion for the first edition that now come standard in the second edition along with quest cards. And I'm sure there's some other stuff here. So let's go have a quick look here. Um, these cards, uh, I just kind of left them in their stacks. And we have... Let's get up on this. We got... Uh, Oh, I'm, I'm sure this is just a, a mass of, of power cards is what we have. <gasps> oh, that would not have been good. Oh my gosh. Save, save it, save it. Okay. Whew. Close call. Okay, more power cards. Wait, this is, this looks like a clue card. Is this a clue card? Take a look. Oh yeah, oh, mystery, mystery cards, which give you clues, which allow you eventually to be able to get the, the holy relics, which I think is what you need to beat the game. So mystery cards in there, very cool. Yes, yes, let's see. more of that. No, can you see that? More of that, more of that. So tons of, of uh, power cards. And uh, in fact, how many, how many power cards we got? Uh, 377 power cards. That'd be a lot of power cards. Odd though, wait, because there's 29 heroes and they're supposed to be I thought there was like 10, maybe there's more power cards. Anyway, okay. <clears throat> um, more power cards, shall we? Yep. Yeah. Ooh, quest cards. Very cool. Let's take a look at the quest card. All right. So um, there's a little timer on these quest cards as you, as you go through and... Uh, the necromancer takes a turn. There's timers on these, and if you don't, if you don't finish them, they do bad things. And if you do finish them, they do good things. Imagine that. What else we got here? Anything else down there? More? Oh, 
No, no more lots. Just a lot of power cards in there. So I imagine there's also what else have we got? Artifact cards. Well, <clears throat> let's take a quick peek in these. Oop, event. Oh, come on. All right. Oh, oh. Ah, yes. So are these all event cards? No, here's okay. Artifact cards. Okay, cool. Um, flip this back over. Oh. So event cards. Yes, some no good, dirty darn looters. What else we got? Oh, there's some artifacts. Ooh. Oh, ooh, lens of truth. More artifacts, okay. I likey. I like the big card feel and vibe here. Kind of separates them from the, from the masses of power cards and stuff. Okay, let's see if we can dig into this. Oh, oh get our fingers in it. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Map cards, okay. So, yeah, on here, <clears throat> this is where you can uh, change up the flavor of the game by, by uh, has a little um, doohickey here, and, and uh, there's a theme to them, and so you can do all certain colors, all, <clears throat> all of another color, or a combination of colors, and, and really mix up, you know, the, the, the way the game's going to play as far as what's going to be where, and certain things that you'll find in places and, and but especially the blights that you're gonna fight are they gonna be all spiritual are they all gonna be some other kind i don't really don't know too much about it yet so map cards lots of map cards okay tons of map cards and more event cards right. dark champion friendly looking fella he is not more events okay there's that so did we have we seen a little bit of everything here Ooh, standees, necromancer, media about game board, over 150 encounters, <clears throat> 10 dice, rule compendium, artifact cards, event cards, map cards, quest cards, mystery, darkness, darkness cards. I don't know if I've seen those, but let's just take a quick pick here. And uh, yeah, here here we have all of our all our guys. 29, whereas the they already say that the, the first edition only came with like nine. Um and uh, so that's quite quite the variation, var variation, variation. And you always play with. Um, I guess even when you play solo, you're supposed to play with four characters. That's really the the way you're supposed to play it. But uh, this does have in the rules here a way to, I believe it was back here. I don't know where. I don't know why I'm digging through here. But anyway, it's, it's there's a, oh yeah, so you like two heroes dual class variant. So you can play with with less. Heroes, uh, especially if you're just going to play solo, like mainly I will. Um, so you have less to keep track of. But from my understanding, it's not too difficult um, to play with four. So I'm, I'm looking to give it a shot. And I will. And more to come as uh, I dig into this. And Well, I mean, <laughs> if I like it, uh, there'll be more to come. <sighs> that be it. The unboxing of Darkest Night. There you go, the unboxing of Darkest Night 2nd Edition. If uh, you at all are interested in what you saw there, you might want to check out further. I'll put some links down below for some content providers on what they think and, and these are people that I watch to learn more about a game and uh, might help move you along in that direction. So until then, thank you for watching on Board Game Rants and I'm out. Darkest Night, second edition, here you go. If you're wondering what's in it, this is gonna help you because you're gonna see stuff that maybe you don't wanna see. It's a spoilers, no spoilers. Just check it out, man. I don't know.